this is Tox back with another video. Um, today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of uh, Plain Jane V 1.3. Um, super excited with uh, these new updates and just seeing everyone in the Discord and you guys uh, posting links to your stores and uh, you know communicating with each other and all of that makes me super excited just to keep out keep um, you know pumping out more updates and um, more features and uh, just making more content like this. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough over the new features. Um, the main one is going to be this blog section. So we're going to take a quick look through. Um, so this will be your blog uh, list page where it shows all your articles. Really self-explanatory. Um, you can click here and then you can see the full article. So we have a, a header right here, the title, uh, the author on the left date in the middle, and then a next article link here. We have a tag, you can add some, you know, add tags to your, your posts. Um, here's the featured image up here, and you can add whatever down here. Um, what else? Oh, of course, back home, all articles, and then um, a few uh, related articles here on the right side. Um, let me just click through and you guys can kind of check this out. It's really dope. Uh, blogs can definitely help with SEO. Um, depends on what kind of brand you are, what kind of store you are, if this would really, really benefit you. Um, but I would recommend it. SEO is is always good if you know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at how to customize this and the different customization options. So if we go here, um, so yeah, once you open up the customizer, you guys know how to get there. Um, you want to click the drop down here and we'll start from the blog list um, page. So we'll hit that and then you'll see all of these articles here. So what you can do is click blog article here and you can see the different options here on the right. We have alignment uh, for the title. So you can do left, center to the right. We have the different colors here, um, a visibility thing here. For the uh you know the date if you want to hide that or show it um we have the card corners if you want to have like a sharp corners of your cards or images here or you want to have a more rounded look you want it rounded um i could change the color card so you can see how it curves too yeah really really dope nice stuff um and we also have a fade animation. Um, so if you move this, when the page loads, um, all of these kind of fade in. So you can kind of uh, choose how you want it. So that's like fastest, here's in the middle, and then here's like the longest. <laughs> Might be a little bit too long, um, but it's all good. Uh, I'll just leave that to you guys. You guys can do what you want there. Um, so let's let's edit the blog uh, or the actual article itself. So you're going to want to come right below the blog posts, hit default blog post. And there's a lot more customization options here. Um, you have the header here, which is everything like the title, uh, you know, the different colors, different visibility options, um, the metadata. Uh, put like the uh, arrangement of it. You can do horizontal or vertical up to you guys. Um, from there, we have the tags, explanatory, um, the article sidebar, pretty self-explanatory as well. Um, you can choose to display it or not, and you can choose the different colors here. Same with the fade in animation and the, the curvature here. Um, and then the buttons at the bottom, you can do what you will with those. And, uh, that's about it. That's about it. The rest of the settings, you know, you guys should be used to those. It's the same as, um, it's always been, um, or the same settings you, you can find like across different pages. Um, so from here, let's see. So the next major feature um, has to do with these collection uh, or the shop page navigation here with these collection lists or collections, excuse me. 
Um, so this would affect both PC and mobile. Um, so the way we had this arranged at first in the first uh, versions of Plain Jane is uh, it just automatically pulled in your collections. Um, in this version, we we made it so it it, it uh, works kind of uh, more similar to the main menu where you have to create a navigation and you can add links that you want there. So we think it's much better because it's a lot more uh, uh, customizable if you want to rearrange the links and stuff like that. I think that was one of the major issues um, from before. Uh, we're trying to make it easy for you guys so you don't have to lift a finger and we just automatically pull them in. But I think it might be better if you set up yourself and you can like move things around and even add more than just, um, you know, uh, collections here. Maybe if you wanted to put like a policies uh, thing on the side here or whatever. Um, in the meantime, while we work on the footer on the new footer that, that we're designing for for the next update, um, you can do that here, too. Uh, so I'll show you guys how to go about doing that. Um, so we're going to want to leave here. And then you want to go to navigation. And then you're going to want to go to shop menu. Or you won't have a shop menu. So you need to come over here and you're going to have to make a new footer. So you're going to, or not footer, a uh, new menu. So you have to do add menu. And then you're going to want to do, call it shop menu. So the name is pretty specific. Um, you want to do shop space menu. If you put a space, um, you know, the dash is added here automatically. So don't worry about that. But once you make a shop menu and then you add your different menu items, um, then this would automatically populate um, on the desktop uh, shop page as well as the mobile um, the mobile menu. So there's I'm not going to do this because I already have my own shop shop menu already. Um, and let's see, I guess the final change, the final important change here. Is going to be to these main menu links here. So we've we've seen in the Discord a lot of requests about uh, changing the font, um, or not font, but the link sizes, like the the text size and stuff like that. So we added that in here. Um, we initially didn't do that because we were afraid that um, you know people added too many links that it might run over the page or it might start to look a little strange or whatever. Um, but we think you guys have enough uh, discernment to kind of um, to kind of look, make this look good. Um, so if you end up adding like 10 links here for whatever reason, just play with this. You can like shrink this to be closer together and you can also shrink the font size, which kind of helps too. If you have a ton of links, um, I don't see why you would have like 10 links here, um, but just in case you, you do. Um, outside of that, uh, we fixed a lot of like minor bug issues, um, like the the buttons on the the product page, um, the different the social media links here, like the Instagram logo was a bit too big compared to the other ones, um, and just tons of other tiny little bugs like that. Um, so hopefully you guys, um, you know, you guys really enjoyed this V one point three update. Um, we have a lot more stuff down coming down the pipeline. Um, and hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, leave me a like, leave a comment if you have questions, if you feel like I missed something. Um, yeah, just leave a comment if you feel like I missed something or just put, throw it in the Discord. I'll see it there. And um, yeah, man, talk to you guys soon. Peace.